Yogis, tonight's class is going to be action packed, lots of flows, lots of fun. Um, we're gearing up to an arm balance workshop here this weekend, so we may do some arm balance and goodness knows what else is going to come up. There'll be a bit of core, cool, a bit of fun, a bit of flow. So roll out your mats, get yourself excited and uh, join us for this hour of power. Entering the space and start to work with your ujjayi breath, inhaling deeply through the nose and out the nose. Filling the belly and emptying. What a beautiful day it was outside today. I had the pleasure of going and having a swim over the road this morning. Wasn't planning on it. I went walking with a friend. We thought, let's go out, walk for a little while and go back to my place. And it was so warm that I was in my yoga leggings and top. You know when you're torn between going swimming in your G-string and swimming in your yoga clothes? Anyone know what that's like? Dilemma. <laughs> Yogi's dilemma. Chose the yoga outfit. So do make some time for yourself to get to the beach. But for now, you've set this hour as part of your day or maybe even your week. So let's set an intention. What is this all about? Where is this coming from? What motivated you? What inspired you to choose you, to choose Zenko, to arrive, to roll out your mat and drop into this space? I'm going to assume you're all connected with some sort of intention. might just be to find some balance. Switch off from your days, create some inner peace. Let's draw the knees in towards one another now, squeezing them in towards us. Perhaps circling the knees. Good, and then crossing one ankle over the other and rocking and rolling a few times. As we come all the way up to cross the legs, let's uncross the legs and come all the way over to all fours. Wrist stacking beneath the shoulders and the knees beneath the hips. And we inhale now, looking up towards the ceiling, filling the heart, opening through the, the, the heart space, and then exhale, releasing and rounding. Inhale, come again. And exhale, release. Drawing the ribs in. Inhale now to fill up even more. Take a deeper breath in. So you've got more to let go of. Exhale, release. Good. And return to all fours. And just rock the hips from side to side to your degree today. You might really want to rock them down towards the earth. Maybe you want to circle them back. Good. It's that real feeling and sense of arriving and dropping into the space. Tuck the toes under and peel yourself back to downward facing dog. Always lovely to have the teachers in class, Helen, Lucy and Bettina, filling up your own love tanks. Bend the knees, look forwards and step or jump your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees, brush the fingers along the floor, lift the arms towards the sky and then exhale, fold. Hands to the shins or the earth, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, hands plant, bend the knees, step or jump to a plank. Gazes forwards, know where you're going in life, make choices the whole way through the practice. Knees now or straight legs. Elbows, brush the body, you lower down with the out breath. With the in breath, you lift, shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, peel back, tuck the toes, knees or plank, returns you to downward facing restorative pose. Good, let's bend the knees, look forwards and step or jump your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, bend the knees, brush the fingers, lift the arms towards the sky, bend the knees, hands to prayer, left elbow, right thigh. Good, knees in line, through the nose and out the nose. We were going well with the breath, through the sun cells. Let's keep that breath flowing through the nose and out the nose. Next inhalation, lift the arms up towards the sky and exhale, right elbow, left thigh. 
So keep the knees in line. Thumbs come in at sternum. Gaze to the wall or the left elbow. Keep sinking the hips down towards the earth. Good, new breath in wherever you are. Inhale, lift the arms towards the sky and exhale, fold. To the shins of the floor, inhale long. Exhale, plant the hands, step or jump your way back to a plank position. Gaze is forward, right leg lifts off the earth. So does the left arm as you challenge yourself tonight, challenge your balance. Use the core, three. Look forwards, two, one, return to a high plank, swapping over now. You're going to work in one of your hardest classes in a long time, aren't you, Bettina? Three, two, one, knees to the floor, lower slowly, everybody lower slow to the floor, elbows brush the body, inhale, cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, right leg, sky high, inhale, lift, bend the knee, open through the hip. When you're ready, set the right foot between the hands. Right foot between the hands, leave the left hand where it is and lift the right arm towards the sky. Breathe it in, exhale, wrap it under the right leg. Good, two more, inhale. Exhale. And again, third and final, inhale the arm. Exhale, hand plants, lower lunge, left knee to the floor. Leave the hands as they are or come to the fingertips or bring the hands to the thighs, thigh it, or lift them up towards the sky. Variations from there, shoulders dropping down away from the ears, through the nose and out the nose. That one constant that we can trust and rely on is the breath. Right, both hands frame the right foot. Right leg steps back up to the sky where you found it. Right leg sky high, three-legged dog. Now bend the knee, open through the hip. Good, and release the right foot back down towards the floor. Left leg sky high. Good, bend the knee, open through the hip. Set the left foot between the hands. It's just me, it's okay. Told you I like a bit of foot action sometimes. Right hand to the floor, left arm towards the sky, breathe it in. Exhale, wrap it under. Power of the breath, inhale, lift. Much better yogis. Let's keep this breath going the whole time through the class. Well done, inhale. Exhale, release, well done. Left hand plants, lower the back, right knee. Hand stay or come to the fingertips, to the hips. Thigh or sky. Good, reaching out through the fingertips. Through the nose and out the nose. Top of the back, right foot pressing into the floor. Good, release the hands, frame the front foot, left leg, sky high, off you go. Three-legged dog, bend the knee, open through the hip. Next, out breath, returning the foot, bending the knees, look forward, step or jump your way to the top of the mat. Inhaling to lengthen the spine, beautiful yogis, exhale, fold. Brush and reach the arms sky high, come back to the twist, left elbow, right thigh, revolved chair. Weight transfers into your right leg, your left leg steps to the back of your mat, revolved high lunge. Feel free to lower to the floor, we're swinging up to worry too shortly. Not just yet, stay here, draw the thighs towards each other. Thumbs are in at sternum. Lovely, windmill now to warrior two. Ground your back, left foot into the floor. Three, really deep flowing breath, so I can hear you, shoulders away from the ears, better night. Good, longer stance is an easy one for you, Helen, not teacher Helen, Te um, practitioner Helen, yeah, longer stance, yeah. Flip in reverse, left to the thigh, right is high. Helen, can you believe? <laughs> Three. Finding some length in this side body, contracting into the left side, draw the navel in. Good, lean forwards and just tap the floor with the right fingertips and then lift back up, reverse your flow. Lean forwards, tap like you're teasing. Good, and then lift back up. And this time we're gonna take things fairly seriously as we bring the hand to the earth or the block, left hand to the hip, half moon, 
Left hand hip or to the sky as you lift the left leg off the floor, whole body facing left side of the room. Nice. Back foot pressing towards the back of the room for three. Some of us folding the back top leg and bringing the left hand to the top of the foot, two. Even just floating with the idea, remember Angela's okay? Angela, so whales out the front of Bedina here just only 20 minutes ago. Warrior two, drop the left foot down to the floor. Find warrior two, focus forward. Windmill the hands now, frame the right foot. You choose yogi, step back, flow through chaturanga. Restore through down dog. Reconnect with your intention in child's pose. Good, core really strong when you're doing that Jodi. I love it, I love it, keep it strong. Good. Bend the knees, look forwards and step or jump your way to the top of the mat. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale and fold. Bend, brush and reach the arms sky high. We're twisting the opposite way. Right elbow, left thigh. Good. Waiting to left leg now. Right foot will find its way to the back of the mat. All on its own. -y. This is spatial awareness. This is something that yoga gives us. For two more breaths, hands in at prayer. Draw the navel in, starting to build some heat now. Ujjayi breath will build more. And windmill up, warrior two. Good, avoid scrunching the toes. Didn't get to properly connect to you, okay? Good, nice to see you. Good, Canada. Didn't take us too much out of our practice. Left knee towards the left side of the room a little bit more. Good. Flip in reverse now, right to the thigh, left arm comes high. So the more you're contracting into this right side, the more lengthening you're getting into the left side. Flowing breaths. It's the teaser campaign, I'm gonna call it. Fingertips of the left hand out in front of you. Tease it. Good, flow back, reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, second last teaser. Inhale, reverse. This is it, right hand to the hip or to the sky as you step up, launch up, half moon pose. Fingertips, floor or block. <laughs> now, so you're really trying to stack the right hip on top of the left here, Haley Bray. Better, much better. Press the right foot towards the back of the room. Engage the legs, get the hamstring working, quads are working, you're breathing for three now. Two, you're going to drop back to warrior two on one, the foot finds the back of the mat. Steady focus and then windmill, frame the left foot, flow back, down dog back. Don't wait to be told to go to child's pose, it's like a criminal offence around here, right? You've got to, at some stage through the practice, connect with child's pose. Two more breaths wherever you are. A little bit of an arm balance play today, carrying on with this theme of arm balances this week as we head up towards Mandy's workshop on Sunday. So let's start with a little bit of fun arm balance play from a downward facing dog. That's where we're gonna jump the feet really quietly so I can't hear you, off the earth. So this is gonna get the core and the arms working. Jump the feet off the earth, good. Just a couple of times, but I can't hear you. You can't even hear it. Much better, see the difference that makes. Now yogis, settle, settle down doggies. And then let's do the next one and see if we can bring our heels to the sit bones. Just give it one go, heels to sit bones. Cool. Next one, bring the heels to the sit bones and see if you can just take a slight leap of faith in your practice and bring the shoulder, hips and shoulders over wrists. Go on, jump. That's the spirit. Awesome, Deb. Back to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, look forwards. Now step or jump your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. It's nice to know where your practice is taking you. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, brush the fingers, lift the arms towards the sky and we get to flow again. Exhale, fold from the hips. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, plant, step or jump back to a plank. Let's say hello to our side planks. Bring your right hand to the center of the mat. 
roll onto the outer blade of the right foot, modify with right knee, or modify your full side plank with bringing your left foot up in front of you. So you're pressing the left foot into the floor. Your left hand is either at the hip or lifting up towards the sky. Option to lift into your variation. Some of us lifting the left leg, lovely test. Spread the fingers, press the knuckles into the floor, lift the hips, use the core. It's core work. Here we are again, touching base with some of these arm balances that we're gonna work into tonight. Another breath in, return the gaze. You choose child's pose, flow back, or stay in, down, um, in a high plank. So high plank for strengthening, down dog for restoring, and child's pose for restoring times two. <laughs> Beautiful. High plank it is, left side, when you're ready. Left knee, outer blade of left foot. Right foot stacking, or right foot can even assist and just come slightly in front of or behind the left foot. That can assist with your balancing. Strong in the core, hips are lifting. Act active through the top hand as well, Lucy, through the fingers. Good. Your own timing, yogis, through the nose, out the nose, Kev. Your own timing, back down and flow. Let's all meet in puppy pose this time. Knees to the floor. Arms reaching out in front of us. Beautiful work. Let's touch base with a few more of our warrior poses. Downward dog. From downward dog, lift the right leg towards the sky. Inhale. And then draw the knee in towards the chin as you exhale. Hover here for three, two. Now plant the right foot, one. Warrior one. Back foot down into the floor. Lift into the arms. Nice. So with our arm balances, would you believe this is actually one of the key components, key prep poses for getting into an arm balance? because you're strengthening the arms here. Yeah, you're strengthening the shoulders, the arms, the core, and the legs. This work that you're doing your legs now is what you're gonna end up doing up on your arms. Three, two, let's bring things into prayer. Let's lift up onto the ball of the back foot and let's say hello to warrior three. Weight forwards, right leg, left foot, as many steps as you need. Looking forwards, hands can stay, reach out in front. Beside or behind. Take a leap of faith. Focus on something in front of you that's not moving. Through the nose and out the nose. Beautiful. Step it back to the back of your mat. Find a high lunge. Stay up on the ball of the back foot. Um, eagle arms, bring the hands down, elbows in line with the shoulders. Left arm underneath the right, wrap the arms. Good, inhale, lift the arms now. Nothing else moving, exhale, come back down. Option to add a back bend. Inhale, lift the arms, draw the navel in, exhale, return. Third round, breathe it in. Beautiful, exhale, return. This time, step off your back foot again, but step your way up into eagle pose. So you're gonna bring the left leg over the top of the folded right leg. The foot can come in behind and tuck in behind the calf, or you can use the toes of the left foot to assist you with your balance. This is where we bring all this mental, physical, emotional balance into the practice. For three, shoulders away from the ears. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the arms. Two, one, left leg steps back to the back of your mat. You find your high lunge. Uncross the arms, bring the elbows out wide. Let's keep the elbows down. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale, fold it in, close it off. Two more, inhale. Beautiful yogis. Inhale, final round. Exhale, give yourself a big hug now. Wrap one arm around the other. Reach towards your back. Good, and then return the hands to frame your right foot and flow back, down dog back, child's pose back. We feeling like a little bit of hamstring work, Jody. I'll bring it in. I can bring that in for you. <laughs> 
from Downward Dog. Left leg sky high and inhale. Knee to the chin, exhale for three. See how you're using your arms? This is arm balance prep. Look forwards, two, much better. One, plant the foot kindly, gently, gracefully. <laughs> Beautiful work. Lift the arms, back foot down into the earth. Good, so we're arm balance prepping, okay? You're meant to feel it, in case you're wondering. We're all feeling it. Draw the navel in. Reach through the fingertips. Couple more breaths. Hands come into prayer. Lift up onto the ball of the back foot. Warrior three. Square off the hips, gaze is forward. For three, the foot will find the back of the mat into a high lunge, two, well done, one, lift the arms, bend the elbows. Let's work into eagle arms, right arm underneath the left. Wrap the arms. Inhale to lift. Exhale, return. Good. Work with your breath. Inhale. There's three rounds. Exhale. Beautiful yogis. Inhale. Lengthen the spine. Exhale. Off you go. Weight into left leg. Leap of faith in your practice, in yourself. Anything is possible. Right leg over left putting behind or supporting your practice. And draw everything in, keep the hips square, couple more breaths. Top leg lifting up, finding the back of the mat once again. Unravel the arms, elbows draw back, inhale, exhale, close it off, three rounds before you give yourself Another ginormous hug. Feel the love within you, surrounding you. Good. Nice hugging action. When you're ready, flow back. Slow and steady through your flow. A little more balancing from downward facing dog. Let's, how you know, playing with that concept of lifting the opposite arm and leg in a plank, yeah? We're gonna do it here in down dog. So lift your right leg towards the sky. You stay in down dog, so don't move the hips. Lift your left arm off the floor. Fold your right leg and bring the heel towards the sit bones like you were jumping towards. And now see if you can reach your left hand back for your right foot. And notice if you're smiling while you're doing this. We need to work on the smile factor. Okay? Three. It's just a play. Some days you will, some days you won't. Well done. Release. We've got another leg and another arm. It's amazing. How blessed are we? Left leg, lift it up. Right arm. Have a play. Maybe just for some of us, just taking that hand off the mat just for a moment. Wow, I'm noticing where my head's at right now. I thought I was all getting my zen on. Uh, uh. <laughs> I got some serious left, right action to, business to sort out. Release yogis, bend the knees, look forward, jump, practice, jump, practice, one jump, and then a couple of baby jumps, that's it Bettina, all the way to the top of the mat. Someone say arm balances. Inhale to lift and lengthen the spine. Exhale and fold. Bend, brush and reach towards the sky. Hands come to heart. Bring the hands behind you and just interlace the fingers. Draw the shoulders back and down. Good, and then bring the back of the hands in towards one another and just release into, into the wrists that will come in front. <coughs> so have a little play with Crane. Do you feel like doing Crane up here? Yeah. Come with you if you want. So we're going to have a play with standalone crane. And then you know how we've been doing the twisting business, the revolved chair, which is so much fun. You get really used to these poses. That actually eventually goes into an arm balance as well. So we'll play with that too. So without further ado, let's 
Separate the feet. Lift the arms towards the sky and inhale. It's nice to gracefully make our way to the floor, I think. Exhale and fold, bend the knees. Hands to the floor. Spread the fingers, bend the elbows. You want to think chaturanga arms. Step the feet a little further back, perhaps. Feel free to use a block to come on, to perch your feet on. As your fingers spread, your gaze is forwards and you start to bring your knees up to the top of your tricep, right underneath the armpit. Now, you know how we're doing the jumping work from down dog and the work with warrior ones. This is where the leg strength comes in handy because I want you to all imagine yourselves in a, in a handstand. So that you're not, instead of sort of letting the body take the weight of the legs, you're quite light. So that you're strengthening the legs while you're lifting them up towards the sky. Because you will handstand from here. Breathe. Look forwards, Lisa. Better. Good, let's come on out and bring the back of the hands in towards one another and take a squat. Well done. Oh. We'll do another flow before we work on the, the, the wrists for um, side crane. This one's gonna involve some hamstrings for Jody. So yogis, take a little excited jump about hamstrings from a squat, yeah you can, jump it up, woo! And then find your way in a plank position, you could jump there if you wanted. Find a flow, exhale, look forwards, inhale cobra or up dog, and exhale downward facing dog. Good, lower the knees to the floor and bring the left leg out in front of you, draw the toes of the left foot towards you, hamstring stretch, square off the hips, toes draw towards you. Good. If you would like to add on, I'm giving you options. One is to tuck the toes under of the right foot and lengthen the right leg as well. Pyramid. The other is to work into monkey pose where you just stay on the back knee, but just slide the back knee back into your splits. And then you can also, if you're wanting more length into the left hamstring, you can move the left heel further forward. This is why, here's one we prepared earlier. I'm glad Bettina's on the teaching mat tonight. Nice. Couple more breaths, wherever you are. Awesome. This stuff actually works, so it's awesome. <laughs> what do we say? You pay good money to come and sweat around here. And then they apologize afterwards when you want to hug them and kiss them. Sorry, I'm sweaty. I'm like, so that's what we do. We make you sweaty. Last breath. Oh, splits. Imagine this was your favourite pose. Slow and steady release back. As I was joking around this morning saying, I think, you know, everyone tries to write blogs on yoga. Downward dog. Everyone wants to write a blog on yoga, yeah? Like, you know, no one's really writing about serious stuff, like trying to get out of splits on a jade mat. You know? <laughs> Why don't we start blogging about this stuff, Bettina? <laughs> Dilemmas of a yogi. This one time at yoga, I was in the splits. Op opposite side, inhale. You'll do the writing over here. <laughs> exhale. So both knees to the floor. I'm getting excited. Both knees to the floor, same entry point. Right heel comes out in front. Onto the heel, toes to the face. Options to pyramid to splits. Squaring off the hips. Couple more flowing breaths. Still your favourite pose, you see. to really ask if you don't mind please coming out of this pose we've got another few more poses we need to do I'm so sorry to break it off come on up and back eh -oh. while smiling.com downward dog beautiful work come on down to the knees and rest in puppy pose or child's pose So 
So there's a few ways that we can set up for side crane and one is to actually come in from revolved chair, which we're not going to do. We're going to come another way because I can see where, how, where our energy levels are. So we're going to stay close to the earth rather than coming back up to that chair pose. Remember, it's a practice. It's not a perfection. There's always something, always something beyond and beyond. From where you are, come on up to a high kneel, tuck your toes under and come to balance on the balls of your feet. And then swivel your knees to the right side of the room and we take out our crane arms, chaturanga arms. So the hands face the front of the mat, the knees face the right. Knees to the right, they're stacked, they're in line as opposed to the righty wanting to jump forwards. Elbows bend, fingers spread, look forwards. Elbows bend. Now as you lift the hips here, you want to stack the knees on top of right tricep and bring your hip onto the left tricep. Press the fingertips into the floor, look forwards and maybe the toes come off. Uh, if you're wanting to add on, you can lengthen out the legs. You can lift the legs. It's a playful practice. Look forward, look forward to me. Moo, 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 moo. Good, nice. Use the fingers, use the toes. Spread through the upper back. Draw the navel in. Beautiful. Go to your edge. Two. One. Yegis, awesome. Come on out. Let's sit in hero for a moment. Let's just sit in hero. So take the feet a little wider than the hips. And just rest the back of the hands on the thighs. Feel free to fold back if you'd like. Hmm. Okay, are we ready? Slowly now, returning. Your last heating pose. I think I promise. Yeah, I do, I do. <laughs> Come on up, balls of the feet. Knees swivel now to the left. You're looking forwards. Hands are forwards. Use the core. See all this side body strengthening and lengthening as assisting too with the triangle sort of poses. Gaze forward, because as you're contracting the right, you're opening the left. Knees stacked on left tricep, beautiful tomorrow. Hips stacked on right tricep, eventually not at all those hippie hips. Maybe practicing lifting the legs and then the hip off the tri as well, well done. You might even find this a little easier than normal crane. Today. <laughs> Remember we work on this concept of today. How, how unique this day is. Well done yogis, come on back to, looks like a squat, bring the back of the hands in towards one another. <laughs> looks, like <a> squat. <laughs> looks like a squat. Well done, strong flow. So ready for pigeon. Find your own way back to downward facing dog. Lift your right leg to the sky, bend the knee open through the hip and then draw the right knee to the right wrist. So feel free to lower to the floor straight away but not without a little bit of lengthening and space in the spine first with your breath in and then exhale to come down. Some of you will like to walk the hands to one side and settle other side and settle. Some of you working into your queens and your king poses. Nice. Bring your hands back. Just if no, so the other way, towards the foot. Steady flowing with your high breath. This is surrendering. 
this grounding and this cooling that starts to occur. Hold on. Draw the left hip down towards the earth. Good. Even more left hip circle. Yeah, nice. Well done. Moving things into a, a twist now. So as you lift back up, you swivel your left leg around you and over the right. <laughs> Thank you. Right hand to the floor, left to the sky and inhale. And exhale, wrap the arm around the leg to draw it in towards you or use the elbow or the shoulder. Good. Slow and steady. Release. Swap the arms. Swap the cross. Take the gaze out to the back. Left shoulder tip. Binds if you're familiar. Keep lengthening into the spine. Shoulders away from the ears. Doing beautifully. Some of us lifting the back hand off the floor. Bring it to the thigh. Release the gaze. Lovely chance to look back, but great opportunity to always come back into the present. Bring the hands behind you, boat pose. Some of us lifting the arms, maybe lifting the legs. Good. Three. Tabletop or reverse plank, entirely up to you. Gentle aversion is to keep the knees bent. You want to challenge yourself, straighten out the legs, point the toes. Hands towards the earth, fingers face towards the front of the room. Lift the hips, look down, or protract the chin and take the gaze behind you. Good, so reversing what we do in a high plank. Posing muscles working now, stretching. Last breath. Cosmic egg, wrap yourself up in a big ball of love. <laughs> Self love that is. Forward to the knees, beautiful. Find a flow back by swiveling the legs to one side or crossing your legs and coming out over the top of them. And find your way back to downward facing dog. If you'd like to flush it out between pigeons, then by all means, doing that. And then we're going to meet on the left side with the left leg lifting towards the sky, bending at the knee. Lovely, Jenny. Left knee coming up behind the left wrist. Length, length for, the, for the preparing of the pose. So we're creating space between the joints after all. So let's get the length on and then fold and cool. Can't leave you walking out of here off balance. <laughs> Just reach the fingers backwards a bit. Yeah, because you're actually more than the toes. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Deep breath. Two more breaths in. Mm. Slow.
slow and steady, lifting right leg over the top of the left. Good. Now we did the open way first, so we right hand behind, left to the sky, inhale, and exhale to wrap the leg in. Pressing the right foot into the floor. So as I was sort of um, alluding to before, the, our twists are a beautiful opportunity for us to really reflect on the past, reflect on where we're going, where, where we have been. Yeah, but not to get stuck there. And there's this addictive condition of getting stuck in the past. Some refer to it as depression. Yeah, it's an addiction. Okay, amped up, obviously, but a lot of yogi's perspective is a lot of that getting stuck behind in the past, the poor me is my story, all this happened to me and so I am. Right, but in yoga we're trying to learn and teach ourselves to release all everything from the past, everything from the future. Release your gaze now and come to the present, just feel that in your body and swap the arms. Good, right arm over, twisting, open twist. Nice. You can bind here. Good, just keep the heel away from underneath the sit bone. Nice, so you can get both sit bones down to the floor. That's gonna lengthen the spine even more. Much better. Helen, not cold, other Helen. <laughs> Heels as well. Release, so slow out of this pose. And this variation, we're going to take our legs all the way out in front of us and move into a forward fold. And then you'll still have a chance to flush it all out and work through one last vinyasa. So let's lift the arms towards the sky, inhale. And just so you know, this is arm balance prep here as well if you wanna practice lifting the legs off the floor. Uh, yeah, and then fold forwards. <laughs> Reach for the feet, use a strap to wrap around the balls of the feet, bend the elbows, bend the knees, wherever you need to modify. That's how yoga is accessible to anyone and everyone. Good. Cooling things down, a couple more breaths here. Tilting from the hips, lovely down. Slow and steady, pedal back, peel back. You need to flush all of that out. And then we're on the floor for the rest of the class. Cross legs, swivel the legs back, downward dog. Very last round, last chance to flush all of that out. Woo, nice one, Helen. We'll swing up and back. Good. Keep the integrity of the practice the whole time. Even if you feel you're tiring, Perhaps not doing that chaturanga or listing to body and coming down to the floor. Let's make our way to our knees and then come onto our backs. Good, and cross both, cross the right leg all the way over the left, so the right knee over the left and bring the hands to the shins or to the top of the feet and draw the legs in towards you. Good, so hug them right in towards the chest, knees all the way over the other. That's it, so you draw it all the way. <laughs> oh, no. New breath in. Slowly release what the cross of the legs. As I always like to say, if you like pigeon, you'll like this. If you need pigeon, you'll need this. Yeah, fill this into the glutes, Angela. Last breath. Happy baby pose. You can keep it as a groin and hip opening stretch, reach to the outsides or the insides of the feet as you draw the knees down and ground the whole spine, tailbone and shoulders included. If you want to add some hamstring, Jody, I know you'll be up for it. Draw one heel towards you and lengthen out the opposite leg. Yeah, heel in and lengthen out the opposite leg. You might even want to lengthen out both legs if there's room. That's it. Good. I love how they call this happy baby pose. It's 
any of you have had any experience with children, by the, about the age of four months it is, they learn that they can grab their feet with their hands. And not only do they grab their feet, <laughs> as Bettina is so beautifully demonstrating, and you could try it too, yogis. They bring a toe to the mouth. They'll try all five toes. They'll try the whole foot and give themselves some serious toe sucking action. Okay? It's like Christmas for them, times 10. When they work that out, it's like, wow, this piece is attached to my body. This is all me in my mouth all at once. It's pretty awesome if you've seen that. I remember both of my girls doing that. We're working into our inversions off toe sucking and turning ourselves upside down. Just in case you got stuck in toe sucking story mode. Legs up the wall, shoulder stand. Any other variations you're working on? Restoring perhaps, block beneath the sacrum and taking the legs up that way, lovely. I just have an assistant in every class. This is great. <laughs> You'll be fit, yogi. Yogis, counter poses as you know them. So bringing the knees in towards the face or all the way overhead with the toes to the floor. So I find that is um, with the hamstring work we've been doing, you might find it a little easier to work to. If you're against a wall, you can work with some variations too by taking the legs a little wider. We're slowly coming back to the floor on the blocks shortly for fish pose. Variations, scissors, wide stance, lovely tomorrow. Knees to ears. Remember you can work your way up to a shoulder stand from the wall as well by bending the knees, pressing the feet into the floor, lifting the hips, bringing the hands underneath you, supporting your practice, drawing the elbows in towards each other. Yeah, so next time you want to start a little closer to the wall. That's the spirit. Relocating blocks. And the last little bit of chest and shoulder opening before moving into the stillness, which means you've still got your ujjayi breath through the nose and out the nose and that slight restriction still. Get yourself as comfortable as you can with the block, perhaps taking it sideways, flat or high side, a little further up, Lisa, further up. So it kind of, yeah, where the bra strap would be, that's it. <coughs> I know bra strap it, direction isn't necessarily sexist. Most men know where the bra strap is too. <laughs> Let me know. Couple more breaths. <sighs> a little sense of gratitude for yourself for taking this time out perhaps. This is one sure way of loving yourself up through dedicating an hour to yourself. To your practice. Reminding yourself as well that yoga isn't just about rolling out your mat and coming into Zenko and getting a sweat on and having a few laughs. Yoga is what you do when you're not on your mat. Yoga is what you do when you meet conflict. When you hang out with your in-laws. <laughs> when you don't want to do something. When Stuff happens, stuff gets in our ways. When our plan doesn't go our way, yoga kicks in, hopefully. Yogis, we are melting into the practice of Shavasana, so you remove the block from beneath you. 
Get yourself as comfortable as you possibly can. Feet roll away from the body. <sighs> Notice the face soft. Okay, feel the body long. Feel it grounding, completely supported by the floor beneath you now. wave of calm washes over you, rinsing away your day, your practice, any remaining tension, rinsing away whatever is no longer needed, rinsing away the old making room for the new, making room for you, for growth. The deeper you breathe, deeper you go. Nothing left to do physically. All is now up to you mentally to decipher, to quieten, to let fleeting thoughts pass you by, to soar in the present. <coughs> Immensely savouring this very moment.
gently bring some movement back. Perhaps rolling the head from side to side. Bending at your knees, rolling to your preferred side. Just rolling, just staying here for a few moments as you reflect on your practice. Reflect on how you arrived to how you are now and how you can create this state for yourself in your own time, anywhere you like. Because you have the tools, you've established them through your practice to become present and to live, try to spend as much time there as we can. Come on up to a cross-legged seated position. <clears throat> as we honor this practice, those around us, this community and the spirit within us that salutes the spirit within each and every one of us and we say namaste. <clears throat>